Hi, Airport Authority. Welcome to your health savings account education session. The health savings account can offer you a tremendous amount of flexibility and control in paying your medical expenses. My name is Barbara Wood and I'm here with Financial Center First Credit Union. We've partnered with the Airport Authority to provide you with health savings accounts that go with your high deductible health plan. I'm going to share some education about the HSAs and I'm also going to introduce you to Jesse Lewis, our Community Branch Manager. As a member at Financial Center with your HSA, you're eligible to take advantage of many of our other products and services. We have educational opportunities for you, as well as incentives and discounts. For your HSA, in order to have this tax advantage account, you must be qualified, covered by a qualified to high deductible health plan. You may not be covered on someone else's health insurance and you cannot be enrolled in Medicare. Also, you cannot be claimed as a dependent on someone else's tax return, and you may not have or be eligible to use a general purpose flexible spending account. You may have some other types of coverage such as dental or vision. You may have long-term care coverage or specific illness or accident and disability insurance, and you'll still keep your eligibility to contribute to a health savings account. Some of the features and benefits of that account include the deposits made into that account go in pre-tax through payroll. Both your employer and your employee deposits are tax-free. Also, the balances roll over from year to year and can accumulate over time. While the IRS limits the amount that you can contribute annually, they do not limit how big that balance can grow over time. Also, the account is owned by you, the employee. It goes with you when you retire, if you leave your employer, or if you change health plans. These funds can always be used to pay for your qualified medical expenses anytime in the future. The IRS has a great website with a list of all qualified medical expenses. You can find that at irs.gov. Also, the HSA is considered to be one of the best retirement accounts out there. It's, it's one of the best accounts because there's no required minimum distributions. And also, once you turn age 65, these funds can be used for any purpose, even outside of qualified medical. If you choose to use the money after age 65 for non-qualified medical, you will pay taxes on the money, but there won't be a penalty for using them for non-qualified medical. The nice thing is you get to choose how you use the money. You can save the money or spend the money. Please note, if you use the money for a non-qualified medical expense prior to age 65, you will be liable for the taxes that were not paid on those pre-tax deposits. And then you'll also have a 20% additional tax penalty. So please don't use the money prior to age 65 for non-qualified medical. You'll find that it's very costly. With Financial Center, your health savings account has no minimum balance requirement. There's not a monthly fee as long as you get your online banking set up. Take advantage of our mobile application and the new technology we put into place. Also, we have a dedicated service team with a direct email and phone number. You'll find it very easy to reach them. In addition, we offer you a self-directed investment option through our partner, Devonir. This self-directed investment option has a $36 annual fee. Since you're a WorkPerks partner, we waive that first year $36 fee for you, so your first year is free on that investment option. Also, you get access to all of our credit union services and our WorkPerks incentives and discounts. Most people spend the money that they put into their HSA. You can access those funds using a debit card or through online banking or the mobile app. It's up to you to keep track of how you spend those funds. Make sure you keep your receipts. 
to avoid that 20% penalty from the IRS. You'll also receive some tax forms from us. In January, you'll receive your 1099 SA. That records your HSA distributions for the year. Normally, you receive the 5498 in May, um, the HSA contribution form. Unfortunately, due to COVID this year and the extension of that deadline to July 15th, those tax forms have been delayed. They'll be mailed out the end of August in 2020. How much do you save? It depends upon your tax bracket. Um, a good rule of thumb is that you can expect to save about 20% in payroll taxes. So for every $100 you put into that account, you're not paying about $20 in taxes. If you'd like to know more about your specific situation, please consult your CPA or your tax advisor. More than likely, they are going to encourage you to maximize those contributions to take advantage of the triple tax savings. Contributions are pre-tax, investment earnings are not taxed, and distributions taken out for qualified medical are also not taxed. In 2020, your contribution limits, if you're on individual coverage, are $3,550. If you're on family coverage, $7,100. If you're age 55, add $1,000 for a catch-up contribution. Please note that total must include the employer contributions. And the good news is the Indianapolis Airport Authority makes a contribution for you every pay period. HSA, best retirement account out there. Please note that medical and retirement is estimated currently for a couple age 65 to exceed 300,000. So please take advantage of using this as a good retirement vehicle. We offer a number of options for you to improve the earnings on that account. We offer certificates of deposit. We have a money market. We also have a self-directed investment option through our partner, Devonier. You can select a, through a, from a variety of mutual funds in a variety of asset classes to balance your portfolio. So if you wanna take a long-term approach, save the HSA money for the future and let it grow. It's really part of a complete retirement planning assessment. Here's a, just a quick example, $200 a month over a 20-year period, assuming a 5% return, can grow up to $80,000 over that 20-year period. So if you're new to the HSA, look for an email enrollment. We'll mail your debit card and a welcome letter to you within seven to 10 business days once you complete that enrollment. Reminder to set up your online banking and download the mobile app. You must have the account for the airport authority to begin to make contributions on your behalf. Keep your receipts and you control how you use the money. Just a reminder to take advantage of all the preventative care your plan offers and utilize the shopping tools available to you. I recommend GoodRx if you're shopping for prescriptions. There's also a great website called the HSA Store. It can help you determine whether the medical expense is HSA eligible. And then your insurance website can help you maximize the benefits available to you by allowing you to shop for services that aren't emergency in nature. I would like to introduce to you Jessie Lewis. Jessie is a great resource for you. She's been with our credit union over 10 years. She's a certified credit counselor and she's an ex expert in our products and services. And I would encourage you to take time to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with Jessie. Jessie, tell us what you can do. Thanks, Barbara. I'm here to help educate you on your credit report and understanding your credit. I'm able to offer a one-on-one -on -one credit review session where I can review your credit report with you and do a soft pull on credit. This does not hurt your score or report. I specialize in all of our financial center product and services and can help, you, help put you in a better place financially. I've been able to help members and their families refinance their auto, mortgage, debt consolidation, or even just increasing their score with our Credit Builder program. Please jot down my contact info and schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me. Thanks, Jesse. Also, just a reminder that um, we offer a Wealth Builder webinar program where you can learn all about budgeting, credit, et cetera, 
If you attend three of these classes prior to December 2020, you'll earn $50 savings deposit into your financial center savings account. Also, find us on podcasts. Uh, the name of the podcast we do is Carpe Dime. It's a fun, lighthearted look at your finances. If you have more questions or need more information, please contact our member experience team. Here's their phone number and email address. And if you'd like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with Jessie, here's her contact information. I'm sure she can help you. Thanks so much for your time today.